everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and try on session using the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick Collection. I picked up six of the 18 colors that she launched. I ordered these from Beautylish, one of my favorite places to shop online because they have the best customer service. Each lipstick is embossed with ND, which stands for none other than Natasha Denona. These retail for $25 each. It says that this lightweight formula envelops lips in a comforting moisture with a subtly luminous your lips but better finish. There are 18 shades available and 4 undertones to flatter every complexion. And here's what the box looks like that the lipstick comes in, rose gold. The top of the box has a sticker that matches the color of the lipstick, so each sticker has a different color. And here's what the actual lipstick looks like, all white packaging, very sleek, very heavy, it says Natasha Denona. It has a magnetic top. The first color that I'm gonna try on is Natasha. Okay. This color has a nice amount of slip to it. It is described as a light neutral coral. On my lips, it looks more neutral and that could be because I'm very golden in tone. I like this color even though it's very light on me. I would definitely use this in a lip combination. So like with a lip liner, maybe a gloss on top and it'll give me a nice light neutral look. So, Natasha by self. Next, let's try on the color Michelle. This color is really pretty. Again, it's light, but I could wear this color by itself if I wanted to, or if I wanted to give it a little bit more definition, I would add a lip liner, just to sort of add a little bit more of a pop to my lips, just because it's very similar in tone to my complexion, and if I wanted to kick it up, then I would have to add a little bit of something something, but I could wear it by itself and just have a light, very neutral lip. This color is described as a light neutral beige, and I agree. Next, let's try on the color Noah. Really pretty color. I love colors like this. This one is described as a taupe, but it definitely has a little bit of a rosy element there, even though that is not in the description. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous by itself. I could add a lip liner if I wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic, or I could just wear it by itself and feel comfortable with it. It is about two shades darker than my complexion, so I think that this looks pretty on me. It's a little bit of a deeper neutral color, but if you have a deeper complexion, I think that this will be really pretty as well with a deeper brown lip liner. I almost really don't wanna take this off. <laughs> Let's try on Sammy. Again, such a beautiful color. This one is described as a medium warm beige. And I think that is exactly what this color is. It definitely embodies that description. It'll be perfect for the fall season. I think this color will go with so many different looks. I really like the way this one looks with my makeup now. It gives me a little bit of a pop. I'm here for this color. Next, I'm gonna try on the color Naya. I love this color. It is described as a medium taupe color and I agree. I think this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite type colors to wear, especially when it gets a little bit colder outside because when it gets a little bit cooler outside, I like my neutrals to have a little bit more of a punch versus in the summertime, I'll go with a little bit more of a lighter neutral color. And then in the fall slash winter, I like it to be a little bit more edgy, have a little bit more grunge to it and this is perfect. I love this color. I think it looks perfect by itself. It is the perfect blend of being a neutral brown without it being too cool toned or too warm toned. It's right there in the middle. It is neutral and I love this color. And the last color that I have is the color Nati. So let's go ahead and try her on. Ooh, 
She's intense. This color is so rich, but at the same time, it's user friendly. I really love the way that it feels, and I love how smooth and opaque it applies without me having to go over it several times or without me having to tug. I really like this formulation. A lot of times with deeper colors, I prefer the finish to be matte, but I do enjoy this one because it has a very smooth, velvety, almost like a satin finish, and I think it looks really pretty. And these type colors always make my teeth look very white, and I appreciate that. And I think this color is gorgeous. This color is described as a deep mauve shade, and to me, it looks a little bit chocolatey brown, but not warm toned so here is what she looks like so my final thoughts on these lipsticks are I think Natasha Denona did an excellent job I love everything about these lipsticks from the tones that she selected to the formula to the packaging I think these lipsticks are phenomenal they glide on the lips they feel very comfortable they give excellent color payoff I love all of them some of them are a little bit light for me to wear by themselves and like I said when I was trying them on I would pair them with a lip liner and even if I do have to add a lip liner with it that is nothing out of the ordinary that I wouldn't do for any other neutral lipstick. I personally think most neutral lipsticks look better with the lip liner because it gives it a little bit more structure and it is neutral so you don't want it to fade into your face and make you look like you have concealer lips. And I think she did a great job kind of escaping that with even the lighter colors on my complexion. So I think there's something here for everybody. There are so many more colors that I did not pick up. Some of the other colors had a little bit more of a pinky tone slash corally tone to them and I don't typically wear those colors so I stuck with colors that I know that I want to have the only color that I did not get a chance to get that I really want to have is the color Yana which it was out of stock whenever I tried to place my order it was in my car but then it got taken out of my cart so then it came back in stock so I already have placed my order for it but I didn't want to wait to do this video the formulation of these lipsticks just has blown me away it definitely reminds me of some of my favorite lipstick formulas that I have in my collection that I pulled to show you guys so I really like these lipstick formulas and Natasha's new lipstick formula feels like that in that it's not matte but at the same time it's not glossy. It gives you full color payoff but it still feels comfortable and not dry. So I really like the way that they feel. They remind me a lot of the Minted Cosmetics lipstick formula. This one is in their semi matte and that is definitely how I feel the Natasha Denona lipstick glides on. So I'll show you guys a quick little swatch. I put back on the color Sammy so I'll just use that one for reference. So. Here's how Sammy glides on, super smooth. This is Minted Cosmetics Dope Taupe. Again, very smooth, very easy glide. It also reminds me of the Marc Jacobs Lip Cream. This one is in the color No Angel and how it just glides on. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but not a lot. The Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love Formula. I like this formula. I don't love the way these lipsticks smell. And I do feel like the formulation is similar, but the Becca Ultimate Lipsticks are a little bit shinier. And the last lipstick formula that it reminded me of was the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color. This one is in the color Neutral Rose. But again, I feel like the Bobbi Brown ones are a little bit shinier. But all of these lipstick formulas are a love for me. And the Natasha one just might earn a place in my favorite lipstick formula trophy haul. So we'll see. I'm going to keep using them. I'm definitely enamored with them. But let me know if you all got a chance to pick up any of these lipsticks down in the comment section. And I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.